Welcome to the Encounter Culture, a place for toys, music, and nostalgia. Thanks for dropping on in and checking out the video today. Make sure you stop back in for any future videos that we have. Please give a follow here and over at Instagram at Encounter underscore Culture. Sit back and enjoy. I'm seeing red, I'm seeing gray. I'm seeing all these colors you've never seen. I'm being erased, I'm being replaced. Common culture, it's in your face. This photo of a that you wanted to end. I'd rather be a skank with my friends. When we go out, you'll never see us again. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. As promised in the previous video, I said I would do an overview of the Mario and Toad figures. Uh, thanks everybody for checking out that Bowser overview. Uh, I did see some of the comments, took some of that feedback. Hopefully uh, I can build upon that last video and uh, bring you guys something here. So without further ado, here we go. All right, so first up I have the Mario. Uh, I did grab a couple of other Mario figures just to show you a little side-by-side -side comparison of those to give you an idea of the size and uh, articulation range for the new Super Mario Bros. movie, Mario. All right, so first up, you can see this is the uh, Jack Specific 4-inch Mario, you know, the same one that's been released over and over and updated uh, more recently. As you can see, a little bit shorter than the movie version. So the movie figures are a little bit bigger than the four inch figures that you're used to. Uh, I also have the SH figure arts to give you a comparison with that as well. So um, you can see these are a little bit taller than the Jax figures, but still shorter than the movie figures. All right, so as far as the articulation goes, uh, pretty decent bend at the knee there on both sides and uh, really good range of motion as far as the arms, the elbows and the shoulders are concerned. And then of course, uh, swivel at the wrist, head swivel, no back and forth, uh, but you do get a little bit of hip swivel here um, and the thighs move pretty well. All right, so next up we got Toad. So as you can see, I have them paired next to uh, your standard four inch scale toad. The movie one, again, as I said previously, they are a little bit bigger than your standard four inch scale. Uh, and as you can tell, toad is racked with accessories, looks cool. Uh, love that they've captured what uh, we've seen from the trailers as far as what he will have in the movie. So again, this is cool. He comes with all this stuff. It's a nice touch, added accessories. All right, and as far as the articulation, uh, you're gonna be a little bit more limited on Toad, but he does have an elbow joint, uh, as well as a little bit of foot articulation. Not a huge range of motion, but uh, still, it does give you something. A little bit more than the standard releases. You know, there's only the head swivel and the arm swivel, no elbow or feet articulation. But uh, again, you know, he, he does come with that does have the nice head swivel, but uh, very little back, but he does have some forward. All right, so there you have it. There's your side-by-side -side comparison and overview of the new Super Mario Brothers movie, Jack Specific Figures. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully that was a little bit more in depth than the previous video, show you a little bit of the articulation and uh, see you next time. But of course, remember to head over to Instagram and follow at encountered underscore culture.